I'm especially just geeked to introduce this first Halloween project, which we will put the stamp of Studio 5 original on. And I have a feeling you're about to see this project in hol Halloween homes, holiday homes across your neighborhood. The truth is it's not just the glow from your jack-o'-lantern candle anymore. Twinkle lights have come to Halloween, and today we're gonna help you light up the porch in a way that is different from your neighbors with a signature Studio 5 project that really involves just two supplies, those twinkle lights I mentioned, and a ball of string. It's a project inspired by a children's book that we all know and love, and the happy, happiest Halloween outdoor decoration I think you're gonna see all year, it's Charlotte's Halloween Web, and Studio 5 creative contributor Kelly Loniker is bringing us this brilliant project that is stretched on the gates behind us. This is amazing. Isn't it so fun? It's amazing, describe what you did. Well, I feel like this is the perfect balance of like, happy, bright, fun Halloween. Yes. Not, you know, but it also makes a huge statement. So yes. this is like the anti-blow-up Halloween toy on your, the, on your, right? anti-blow-up. It's like the big statement, yes. but it's all, can be totally customized to any size you want. So it can be on a smaller scale or a bigger scale. Doesn't matter how big your house is, but it's just a fun, way to customize your Halloween spirit on your house. Where did you put it on your house? So this is on the front of my house, um, right there in the front. And when it lights up, the other thing, this is so fun in day and night. So it really is kind of that Halloween where you see it in the day, it's really fun. And then as it goes into night, it lights up and it has kind of a different dimension. So this is right on the front. I'm actually gonna do another one on the side of my porch where people come up to the door, but it can really go anywhere. That's the fun thing about it. The effect at night is is magical. We don't often it's use so that fun. word yes. tied to Halloween, we usually celebrate Halloween for kind of the spooky, spooky scary, or the scary, yes. but let's bring the magic back. Yes. And I love the tie into Charlotte's Web, such a sweet right. nostalgic tip. I walked out onto the plaza and immediately started to inspect because you haven't, this is all like loops and ties, right? Right, so there's actually no glue in this entire web. That's Other incredible. than in the lettering, I did add a little bit of hot glue to just support the shape of the lettering. To reinforce but it. But otherwise, this is made entirely out of clothesline. So you can buy a 200 yards of clothesline for like less than $10. So really inexpensive. Oh and this goodness. project too, I love it because it can be done kind of in three stages. You can do just the web and have it be a really fun statement. Uh -huh. You can add the lettering and turn it into kind of that magical Charlotte's web. Hey, you can even change the lettering every week and see what neighborhood kids notice what the lettering has changed to, right? Then you can add the lighting and the lighting is kind of that extra wow. So really fun. The lettering, I have to get the details on all of this. Can we walk? Yes, you show absolutely. Us? Um, where am I getting this clothesline then? So clothesline, I got it on Amazon. Again, 200 um, yards is gonna be about $10. So, so really this project, inexpensive. less than 10 bucks. Yep, for the rope For part. the rope, add the lights. Yep, add the lettering and then you need a um, jewelry wire. So okay. this is um, nine gauge jewelry wire and you can see it's just gonna roll out. It's kind of a nice thick yeah. wire. And then to add the lights, this is, uh, can I just tell you my love for solar lights this year? Oh my year? goodness. So this, you don't need any power, you don't need a battery. This is a solar pack. Okay. And it automatically turns on at night because Stop. when the lights go down, <gasps> Right. Well, I haven't seen solar in the twinkle lights. Right. You can you can find pretty much anything in solar. This is Good what I've discovered this year. So if you just search on Amazon, um, solar twinkle lights. Yeah. These come. This is about 50 feet. They come in a box of like 200. So you need. I used about six rolls. So okay. I used a, more like. 250, 300 feet. Okay. Because you're gonna do a little more wrapping than you are with the clothesline is just straight. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So you need a little more lights than you use clothesline. I mean, from a crafter's perspective, we love the clean aesthetic without the cords or the right. mess. But I mean, just the practicality of no no plug, no outlet, no batteries. Right. You can put this anywhere and you don't have to go out and turn it on at night. That's really the beauty is right as that sun, it's like that dusk and it just magically turns on. The other thing I love about these is they have different modes. So let's see if I can get it to turn on and show you the different modes so as they sparkle so you see they yes. got like a flashing so it's kind of fun on the web because you're going to have so many different strings up there to kind of have different modes and then different parts of the web kind of light effects. up in different ways so really fun did kelly just create the perfect halloween project <laughs> i think she did i think she did okay really teach so us. Fun. okay teach so us. the web itself you just need anchors, okay? On the ground, you can use stakes. We use sandbags in this scenario because we're on cement. Uh -huh. So get creative. If you have a kettlebell at home, tie it to a kettlebell and put a mum or a pumpkin over the front of it and it's anchored, you know? Perfect. So you need about 10 or 15 pounds to anchor your 
stuff down on the ground, whether okay. that's a stake. And then just, you can use command hooks to tie. My um, favorite find, do you know the dollar store has command hooks? I did not know this. They, I'm not gonna say they're the same quality as like command command hooks, but they work and they're awesome. A set of four is $1.25. Hello. I use them in all my holiday decorating because command hooks are expensive, they right? They can be pricey. So I love these. So command hooks work great. This, if you have poles or um, like a, a overhanging. An awning. Yes, something like that, work, that's gonna lend itself perfectly to this without a lot of extra sticking or tying. It is at kind of an angle and that's part of the effect, Yes, right? so you wanna kind of bring it off your house. I yeah. could have done this just flat, but you wanna definitely pull it off. I use about eight strands, six to eight strands. Okay. And start with your horizontal and your vertical, right? Vertical and horizontal strands. Okay. And then you're just gonna build around and it's gonna fill in and you just anchor across. So I start top to bottom, top, top to bottom. Top to bottom and you're verticals. just gonna work yourself. So you're gonna go vertical and then horizontal. There's your center line. Uh huh. And then you're gonna fill in your gap. And then you work in a circular motion? Yep, so I just kinda gauge, okay, this is about three feet apart and they're not all gonna be perfect, but you kinda just wanna gauge them so they look about the same, okay? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Then, um, once those are all anchored in, let's go over here and I'll yeah, show you the please. center. So, I didn't tie these, I just overlaid them. This so, they're just this laid incredible. over the together. It's not tied or like right. glued in any way. So, this is just, I just crossed the lines over, but then I took a separate set of thread or clothesline and uh -huh. just wound it around to kind of create that center that's strong. Okay. Okay. Now, the beauty comes in the web the outside webbing, and this is so easy. You're gonna love it. So the first one ties on. Okay. And then you're just going to loop around, loop around. So I'm gonna show you on this one so you can see. We didn't quite finish this one. Okay. So we have it here. You yes. can see it's just looped around. I bring it, loop it. Oh my goodness. And that's it. So a couple of things, and then I can finish this and one. And you close off at the bottom. And then close off and tie, yep. So a couple of things is you don't wanna pull really hard when you're looping, because then you're gonna get bent. You wanna okay. keep your line straight. And what you wanna pay attention to is that the distance between them, so this is like, I can say, okay, this is a hand's uh -huh. width, uh -huh. and this is a hand's width. If you start pulling farther, then your web's gonna lose that symmetry. Okay. So you wanna keep kind of the distance between the same. This is Makes so sense. fantastic. I don't even have the right number of adjectives. All right, the it words. Really How okay, are we doing so words. Words? words are the same clothesline. The cool thing about this clothesline is it's lined with a nylon lining. Okay. So you pull this out. Uh huh. Oh. So you're going to have to kind of work it out. See how it comes out? It's kind of like someone said when you lose the string in your um, hoodie <laughs> yes, and you're yes. like, no. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. But you're going to just work it out a little bit of time. Okay. Once you get it worked out, you're going to have a hollow tube. And then you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna feed it through the hollow tube again. Uh, and that again, you're just gonna uh, kind of work through the whole thing. I okay? thought you were gonna have to starch this, make it nope, stiff. No way, this is just easy. So this and is it's durable but pliable. Totally, yeah. yes. But you, and then the nice thing about it is you can kind of, don't give yourself a rope burn. I did get a few rope oh. burns in this <laughs> hazard. So you can kind of straighten it out. Now I have this beautiful mm -hmm. wired rope. I just printed, you can see I printed my word yep. as big as I could get it. It yep. doesn't matter if it's kind of off the page because I can use my imagination. Sheet. Yep. And then I'm just going to create my letter. And they self-hold. They self-hold because it's wired. So I did add just a titch of hot glue in the connecting points. So here, for example, on my H, I would add just a titch of hot glue here just to keep that tight yeah. so that once it goes up there, I'm not losing all the shape. And you did one continuous rope. I did one, yes. Word. So I measured the rope. Once I printed my words, I measured the rope to see how much I would need. Kelly. And then I cut it and then added wire. So then I had the perfect amount. Then this goes up with just some little string. Yeah. And you're done. This is a genius The project. lights just wrap around yes. or go straight, but these will kind of tighten those little loops too. So this is kind of your extra. You can wrap this into that where your um, rope loops around itself. Uh -huh. You can wrap this and that kind of tightens and keeps that in place. Too, I'm so. impressed too with how readable it is, like from a distance yes. right up or in the daylight, yes. you can really make out that trick it or treat pops. Yep. or any word that you want to bring to your Charlotte's Halloween web as presented on Studio 5. I can't wait to see these pop up oh, all so over the fun. state. We'll post step-by-step -step instructions in this video as well on our website for you, studio5.ksl.com. Out of the park. Oh, Get it out you. of the park. That is so, so fun. fun. It's fun to innovate. We've been doing this for so it many is. years and to continue to see awesome new ideas I from love our it. awesome contributors. We love it too. Thank, Thank Kelly. you. Kelly.